So we are back with the barn cat here today. Barn cat. It hasn't been about a year since I've started. It's, it's been about a year since I've started it. But I want to get it moved over to the uh, pumpkin patch. I wanted to do a couple of things with it kind of around where it's at, but crops got in before I could get that done, timing, all those good things. So we're going to uh, see if we can start it so I can get a friend and neighbor to come over and hopefully haul it over. That trailer right there, it doesn't have the juice. This thing just be a little too heavy for it. I mean, if somebody was really gung-ho about it, they could probably do it, but we're, uh, we're not wanting to trash a new trailer. So we're going to check everything out again real quick, including the mouse trap. See if we can remember how to start this. Might have to watch my old YouTube video. Still got oil. So if you guys aren't familiar with this dozer, this is like a 1950s-ish dozer. Um, D69U, I believe. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. Cable dozer. Steve and I, last year, took some time and got this gal ready to roll. And this part right here, I had a big, hard time with last year. Last time. Because we turned this gal here into mouse soup and oh man, it still stinks. The last time I had a little bit of an issue with stomaching that because the mice had turned into I just, yeah. And everybody thought it was the smell. The smell is not nice, but the smell is not what got to me. It's the fact that they turn into like a, they, they liquefy. Only one mouse that time. We can live with that. So with the magneto off, I'm gonna see if I can kick this thing over. Good deal. Okay, let's see if we can't get this thing pony motor started. Okay, that's closed. I can turn on the gas here. Gas is open. Compre decompression on. So I can watch that. I need a on. Gotta make sure I got my fire extinguisher around me. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's see if we can pull it out.
Well, that's all I needed to do with this beast today. Just make sure she's ready to be moved. So I'll see you when Tim can help me move. So we're back, but Molly and I went uh, yard selling in Centerville this morning to find some decorations for the pumpkin patch. But I found one heck of a deal. Did you know what I found? No. I found these uh, pants half off. <laughs> I was wondering if I, uh, I got to town today and I'm like, Shh. it's 88 degrees right now. Dang. We're fixing a rake, waiting on Tim. Tim's bringing his trailer. We're going to go load up that dozer. I'm glad I got sunglasses on. <laughs> the legs are pretty wide, aren't they? <laughs> I need to go find me some sunscreen for him, but I can tell you that <laughs> it needs to go this way. Yes. Keep going. Keep going. Put my rope back a little. Now we got to go up if we can. Dude, it had one dead mouse in it. We're getting <laughs> Was there any oh, Only one this time. We're, <laughs> we're in business. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good news is, I think he's going to climb up on there. Oh, I was going to say, it about, it, you about all the Yeah, he was about that. I'm not as square as I'd want. Yeah. As I say, if you want to go forward, you got to go forward and move so. a little.
go back a little more, but it'll work. Go back a little bit more. I don't know about you guys, but I about shit when I was like... <laughs> 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 At least he's wearing short pants so it can all run out. That was up there. <laughs> How did I do? Did I keep my cool? Oh. Did, was, did I seem like I've done that before? Did you know that I've not done that before? Yeah. When I when it was up there at the precipice, <laughs> it felt like I was about 20 feet in the air. To be honest, I was kind of watching to make sure it didn't come off sideways because I was kind of in danger. So. I was I was like, don't touch anything. <laughs> don't touch. It just I didn't want it to slip. I didn't want it to do nothing, and it was like, ooh. We'll go offload it. Well, we made it to the patch, now we just gotta unload it. And it sprinkled on the way here. We'll take that. We've had some pop-up showers around here, half a mile up the road, over an inch, even a little further closer to two, apparently. Right here, yesterday, nothing, but we just got something today. So we got a little bit of an issue. It started, then died, and uh, we're not sure why it died. So I made an emergency phone call to Steve. He's coming out to rescue us. Our thought is, is that we went through that little sprinkle shower and that might have made something not happy. So, like the spark plug or whatever else. I always drive right down to the scrapyard and they can probably pick it up and set it off. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Now my AAA card's expired. <laughs> Not a great day up here. It is what it is, you know? It might have, we just must have got a little wet and not liked it or something on the way over, huh? Could have been, could have been. I brought a torch to warm the back here to dry it a little bit if we needed to. So give it some gas, I'll get out of your way.
she is. I was gonna push a little bit of dirt with it, but you guys will have to wait for the next dozer video with that. Um, not gonna push because we were blessed with obviously a little bit of rain here, which is also what caused that little bit of an issue, but I'm gonna use that to hopefully help kind of grade out my building pad there. Um, more dozer videos to come. Thanks for Tim helping us move and for Steve to just show up and that way the dozer's scared of you and it started. I don't understand that sometimes, but see you guys in the next one.